As a cricketer, probably growing up, um, also as a leg spinner as well, probably Shane Warne, I reckon. Got him! There it is! Wicket number 700! And they can't catch him! And in front of his home crowd, he holds the ball aloft. Well bowled, Shane Warne. Wonderful career. Growing up, I always just probably tried to emulate him in the backyard and, and copy whatever he did. For me, um, Anna Mears was always a sports person that I, I looked up to. Um, Obviously growing up in, in central Queensland, um, she grew up in that area as well and often when I was on the school bus going to, to school I'd see her and her sister Kerry training and riding around the streets of Rocky and come through the other side of a lot of setbacks and have the success that she's had. She was always somebody that I really looked up to. My dad was an incredible um, role model for me growing up. Unfortunately, he, he passed away quite a few years ago now, so I kind of always, you know, pinch myself sometimes when it's these situations where, you know, you get called up into teams and you're know, probably at the pinnacle of, of your sport and, and uh, to kind of think back and, and, and to picture him kind of, you know, in his reactions when these kind of things get announced um, is pretty special. I guess you can't really go past your parents, can you? Um, both my parents um, come to every single game that they can and um, they're always there. My dad's probably cheering the loudest. It's quite embarrassing because everyone thinks he's hilarious but I think he's really embarrassing because he's always yelling out. They're both really hard working and committed to, I guess, to being really good people and um, hopefully I can be half the people that they are. My dad probably just with, um, you probably don't realise it at the time, but. Uh, the amount of time he gave up to drive me to trainings and games just to give me an opportunity to get to where I am. I'd probably have to go with like my mum and dad. Um, they've sort of been there throughout the ups and downs and five kids in the family. Um, kind of been easy sort of juggling everything and yeah, so I don't think would have been able to get to where I am now if, if they hadn't um, yeah, been willing to do so much. I, I think it's probably always going to be my parents. Just the support that they've constantly shown um, no matter when um, has been yeah, truly amazing and um, I'll always be very appreciative of that.